No, Peter, you're not allowed, are you? You're an alcoholic. What do you think of the plane, Peter? Nice plane, massive seats, look. What do you make of that? We're gonna die. It's a lovely PT. Mm. Uh, we're in Bordeaux, we don't really know anything about Bordeaux. Not one thing. Not really planned it through properly, no. so I think we should have a little look around. Yep. Try and find how we get into the town. I presume there's a town. I don't know where Bordeaux is. I think, there is, I think one of my friends came here, uh, Joanna, I think she came here on a uh, Hindu. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a town. Is it good, did she say? It was a lovely place, yeah. yeah. Nice. I think it was Bordeaux. Tree. I think it was Bordeaux. Is it Blackpool? <laughs> Definitely in France. How much you get out? Mill? They give you like, uh, I've just, they just watch here. Six hundred euro. I mean, that doesn't happen in England. Punchy entry. Yeah, level, six hundred to four hundred euros. No, just more than like thirty quid or something. So this is Bordeaux Airport. It's not the best of airports. It's a bit like 1980s leisure centre sort of thing. Uh, probably not the best place to spend the day. So we're going to go and try and get into town, find a bus or a taxi or something. One thing I've noticed already on, in Bordeaux Airport, Robbie, is the automatic doors aren't very good. You, when you approach them, you have to wait for like a two seconds before they open. In England, or other normal, normal airports, just walk there, it's open already. Just, look, wash it. Yeah. Have you got our tickets? Go so do your best French. Peter, first reactions to Bordeaux then, what do we think of it? After the um, below par airport, this place is lovely, unbelievable, I really like it. You know when you sort of come to a place and straight away you think, yeah I like it here, that's what I thought, straight away I like it here. Yeah, it's very, um, it's quite nice like old stuff isn't it, the very very French, yeah, yeah. But, but like space is not much traffic, it's all chilled. pedestrianised right chilled. here. Very chilled, everyone looks like they're just chilling and Oh, that's what I like. How's your French peak? Terrible. Can you read anything on there? No. What are you looking at for? Because I'm trying to trying to work out the words and see if like got like, cheese and ham toasty or something. No, they got like croissants or chocolatines yeah. like a pan of chocolat. Yeah. When did you become a French expert then? Uh been a, a few times recently. Have you? And I got a C and GCSE in French. All oh, right. <laughs> so we're in Bordeaux, and as promised, we're going to let people choose what we do. We're going to start off at Instagram, just taking general advice there. What shall we do? Simple question. So we'll put it out there, see what we get back. Okay, so we've got a few responses uh, coming through on the internet, a few things on Twitter. Drink wine and eat cheese in a vineyard all day. Uh, Tube doesn't drink, I don't really like cheese, so Probably gonna give that one a miss, thanks to Harry Pay there. Uh, have a dance off at Place de la Bourse. I don't know what that is. Um, I'm, I'm we're, always, both, I'm we're both accomplished dancers. I'm well. always up for a dance. Well, so we'll, we'll maybe. put that on them, maybe. Uh, Rich Mitch says wines, 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 wines. Again, not great for, yeah. for um, him. Uh, what about the Bordeaux tapestry? That long, long, long cloth with the arrows in the eyes of the king fella. Oh, wait, that was Bayo. That's an idea for a game, Bordeaux or Bayo. That's not a bad shout. Not a bad shout, uh, but I think it's a bit far to travel. Um, I run Instagram, a lot of good suggestions here. 
MD Cutler 85 says, have a crepe. You had one at um, Gatwick Airport, didn't you? Um, Banto 21 responded to your question with uh, pastries and cheese. I was a bit slow there, wasn't I? You were a bit, yeah. yeah. Eat, I have um, a massive crepe at Gatwick, to be fair. Daniel Stephen Cook says, play a game of who can shout bogeys the loudest. Grow up, Daniel. Yeah, You're better than that. Come on, mate. Um, Dodd7291 says, search for Christoph Dugarry. Yeah, That's a good what one. What a player, by the what way. What a player. I don't know how he'd find him. If he's still, if he's still around, here. I suppose. Ask around. We'll yeah. try. We'll put that on the back burner. Yeah. Eat a croissant. Just done that done already. That. Nice. Uh, eat cheese. Eat oysters. M zero zero oh, Chen oysters says. Oysters are minging. I love oysters. Do you? I think we should do that. Let's eat some oysters later. Oh mate. Um, and Ed, uh, this is a good one. Eddie Bear says, try a food you've never tried before. Eddie Bear, done. Let's go done. do that now. Yeah, Let's done. go. We'll try some food that we've never eaten before. Nice one, Eddie Bear. Peter, first suggestion is to try food you've never had before. Yep. Uh, just, I don't really know what food you had. So can you just list all the foods that you've had before in your life? Um, paella, um, sausage, bacon, um, cheese, I don't like cheese, cereal, um, Chinese food, Indian food, uh, Thai food. Um, I've never tasted snails though, but you have though, haven't you? Yeah, I have. So let's just have a look around. We'll look in the windows of places, see if we can find something we've never had. One thing I've noticed about talking about food, in Bordeaux there are so many. Look, there's one there. How bizarre, are they? Sushi places. I've seen about seven sushi places so far. Have you had sushi before? Yeah, I love sushi. But why? If anyone knows, you let us know. What's the uh, association with sushi in Bordeaux? No, Peter. You're not allowed, are you? You're an alcoholic. Here's something, Pete, I've never had bubble tea. Have you bubble, ever had it? No, I don't even know what it is. Let's go find out. Yes. I've seen it advertised, never really? had it. Yeah. Mm. So we've ordered a couple of bubble teas. There's a lot of options there, I didn't really understand. I've gone for different things. I think one of them's going to be a lychee flavour, one's going to be a raspberry flavour. That's all very well and good, but what is it? I don't know. Oh, you don't even know what it is? No, I don't know. It's, it's a drink. It's got syrupy stuff in it, and it's got something at the bottom, which, like, passion fruit, I think we're having in ours. Uh, so it's not, like a, it's not like PG tips put in like a soda stream fizzed up. No I don't know what it is, mate. Bread. I don't know what it is. But it's something we haven't done before. Yeah. And that's the first thing. Well done, Eddie Bear. Eddie you will get Bear. your wish shortly. Nice one, Eddie. It's getting off, Pete. That means you've got to go and get your bubble teas. Go and get them. Quick. What do you want? Let's reshare. Two bubble teas. Wow. First time ever having bubble tea. Cheers. Oh, I've got, I've got stuff in it. I guess that's where the bubbles are. <laughs> I, was not, I was not expecting well, that. It should be called lump tea then. <laughs> that's great. It's a bubble tea, if you don't know, it appears to be tea. Well, it's not tea, tea is it? It's a drink. These little, see little balls and stuff in there. Can I try your balls? Let's go try some of Peter's balls. Yeah, but you choke on it. It's well nice though. I didn't get any of your balls though. Let me try again. That's mad. Mm. Mm. Your balls really hit the I back like, of my I'll, throat there. <laughs> I reckon a lot of people have choked on bubble tea. Yeah, yeah. Because if you don't know what's coming, you get a load of balls down your throat. It's not unpleasant. I like this one. Well, nice. I prefer this one. Yeah, that's all right then. These are the little bubbles. Can you see that? That's what they look like. Little bubble tea bubbles. Mm. It's lovely. We crunch them, they just disappear in your mouth, yeah. What a great little trip, bubble tea. New things. Mm. Thanks for the suggestion, Eddie Bear. One thing off the list. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sticky. <laughs> Don't get hit in the face by bubble tea. <laughs> so 
got our bubble tea. Uh, and we're walking down. I think we're getting towards the river. So we're going to go have a little look at that while we're we've here. Already, we've already passed about another 18 Japanese eating establishments. Bizarre. Yeah, true. So by the river, uh, I believe it's the Garon, I think, possibly, it might not be, look it up. If you're hoping for that really useful tourist advice in this video, you're going to be a bit disappointed, it's just, it's not really that, it's just us walking around Spitting a bit, bubble, bubble tea, so spitting like. bubble tea around. Uh, it's a very big river, it's actually huge, uh, and it looks down here, it looks like there's a nice few restaurants and, and pretty things. Like that, so we're going check those out, have some lunch, have some glass of vino. Are you going to have a little glass of vino? Well, maybe have a little one with lunch, possibly, I don't know. Should do, we're in Bordeaux, shouldn't we? Exactly. We just stopped off for lunch, I've just ordered you your galette. What do you think of my French skills? I admire you a lot because you're trying, and even though the French waitress is speaking to you in English, you're speaking back in French and she appreciates it as well, I think it's brilliant. Persevering, aren't I? No, it's really good. I mean, you're not fluent, you're far from it, and you sound a bit slow and a bit silly, but you're trying, and I respect that. Well done. Do you know what Bordeaux makes me think of, apart from wine? Cheese? No. Scotland fans in Euro 98, if I recall, not Euro 98, uh, World Cup 98 in France. Oh, right. If I recall correctly, I think it's Scotland based here, and, I seem to remember after the tournament, the French authorities took out an advert in the Daily Record thanking the Scotland fans for their behaviour in Bordeaux for being a right laugh. The Tartan Army. Absolutely, you came to a Scotland game with me once, didn't you? Unbelievable. The, uh, the atmosphere, I've never seen anything like it. Like, I thought that I just, I couldn't believe it at half time, you just all stayed in. Because you're Scottish, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. All your fans stayed in and just had a party. No one went really out to get a drink. I oh, just thought this is amazing. They were like, oh, I would walk 500 miles. Oh, it was just, I've never seen the sort of an atmosphere like it. And, we, and you won, didn't you as well, I think? Yeah, yeah. You won. Uh, I think so, yeah. You come to another game with me? 100%, love the Scottish. Well, we've got some uh, of what Bordeaux is also famous for, though, is wine. So we've got a glass of the, of the wine here, and I want to do a wine tasting for you. Swell it round, swell it round, swell it round. Very nice. So, I think it's a white wine. Well, it is, white. Yeah, it tastes like a white wine. Um, <laughs> getting notes of wine in there. Maybe little hints of vanilla. Yeah? Sure, why not? No one else can taste. I'd say that wine's the perfect accompaniment to a galette, which you're about to have yes. in a few seconds. I've never had that either. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. Savoury pancake. Buckwheat, I think. Tube's about to embark on your first ever galette. Yeah. Uh, do you want to give it a go? It's a buckwheat pancake. It's a Breton speciality, I believe. From What's Brittany. that thing on top of it? Uh, which one that is? Is it a fig? No, it is. Fig? I don't know that, I'm guessing. I don't know. Oh, it's a cheese thing, isn't it? No, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Try it. Is it meat? Yeah, it's like sausage. Oh, maybe that's what's in it then. Sausage. Try Have it. a taste of the galette. It's tastes like, yeah, it's alright. It's about like a pancake, isn't it? I've not been massively enjoying this, if I'm honest. I will just Google it, haven't we, Pete? Yeah. We're basically eating intestines and stomach lining of a cow. It's not a classic menu choice from us. I've given up, absolutely rank. Uh, I've given Pete the double crep now. Yeah, but I'm not eating at all, man. You've got to eat them both. No, I'm wet. Eat them both and I'll have an ice cream. Well, how's that a good deal? Just eat your, shut up and eat your pig guts. <laughs> So ever since we got here, Chief has been obsessed with getting an electric car no. that he's seen on no. online or When I was here and we were having our um, cross on, my brother's girlfriend, Sarah Louise Dove, said, do this, it's amazing. So I said, let's put it to a poll. Should we go to a cathedral or an electric car? 
Well, no, actually, chose, what actually happened is, chose electric car. what actually happened for about two hours, I was going, I'm not sure it sounds that good going electric car, I think it's better things to do, is you go, let's get in the electric car, let's get in the electric car, let's get in the electric car. I said, okay, if people vote for it, you can go in the electric car. People vote for it, now he's going, oh, how do you get an electric car? It's your idea, mate, you've got, you got to solve this. Yeah, but I just thought you could just go into Bordeaux town centre and just go, I want an electric right. car. You sort it out right now. Well, I'm trying to look into it. Well, you're just going to film me like the whole time? Oh, well, until we get an electric car, yeah. Bordeaux electric car. Electric scooters? It's not a car, mate. Here we go. <laughs> oh no, that's not it. I've just checked the electric car. Sorry, that day is pretty popular. So we can't get an electric car. So we can't get an electric car, it's a bit of a letdown. So we've changed our poll on Instagram. Give people two options now. Either we're gonna go to the big cathedral, or we're gonna eat an entire baguette. And it's your fault we're doing this, because you messed up the electric car, so we need to give them better value. So yeah, people picked the baguette option. No, one, no one even voted for the cathedral. No one was ever going to vote for the cathedral. So yeah, we've, got some vote, but we're we've given it half hour. And we're at the baguette shop now. Here go buy a baguette. It's quite a thick baguette you've got there. Let's go sit down and eat it. I reckon the best approach here is if we do shifts. Like someone eats the baguette for a bit and then the other one takes over. Well, I know after I come on holiday with you. Just shut up, start eating your baguette. Don't be doing it by the middle. How is it? <laughs> Dry as a bone. Oh, yeah, mate. We're not going until we've eaten the baguette. <laughs> You've actually done quite a good job, you've got quite a lot of the baguette done already. I'm going to carry yeah. on where you've started, I think, and just... And bizarrely, that was one of the smaller ones in the shop. Was it? Yeah. I think the pointy bit's going to be horrible. I mean, Bordeaux's beautiful, isn't it? Look. Wow. This is what you get when you come on holiday with Robbie Fox. <laughs> so dry, isn't it? <laughs> it's a nice baguette. Quite a lot of it. <laughs> I'm beginning to think that our viewers don't have the <laughs> our best interests at heart. So so far you've had pig guts, bubble tea, and now you've got to hear a whole loaf of bread. Oh, oh. your teeth falling out. Yeah, but it's so so <laughs> crunchy. <laughs> what did you say? The yeah, bit's so crunchy and burnt. <laughs> Hang in, you got to do another shift. You're going for a standing up tactic, Pete. Mm. Help with the indigestion. <laughs> I love the fact that we've come, we've come here and we've gone... <laughs> How nice is the city? Oh, it's beautiful. Look at all the nice little shops and delicatessens. Oh, beautiful. Now we're, now we're by a port a loo <laughs> eating a loaf of bread. We've got to do what the viewers say, Peter. Yeah, I know. What? Just eat the bread, come on. Tag me in when you're done. <laughs> this is so disgusting. Oh, I feel so full. <laughs> full of bread. <laughs> I remember halfway stage now. Yeah, I've done alright. How are you feeling, Pete? Full. Sick. <laughs> Not what I thought Bordeaux would bring me today. <laughs> You're doing the last point. I can't take another point. The okay. end is near. I feel absolutely ranked. Here we go, Peter. The final pointy bit. And the baguette. It's absolutely. How tough is that? Oh, I'm ranked, mate. <laughs> I'm really dirt. Come on, finish it off. That last bit in. <laughs> they said it couldn't be done, they said it shouldn't be done. But we have managed to eat an entire baguette. Time to go back to the public for another decision. It's going to sound a bit weird, Peter, but I think the architecture here really reminds me of Edinburgh. 
Yeah, do you see what I mean? The yeah, big sort of you know long yeah. flowing sort of mansion block type thing. Edinburgh's lovely as well. Yeah, great city though, isn't it? Yeah, really. You've nice. been to the festival? I haven't, no. Oh, you should go that, brilliant. Yeah. So good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go a little adventure. Well, apart from the comedians, what else is there at the Edinburgh Festival? Well, the fringe is there's the, 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 there's the festival, which was yeah. this sort of traditional thing, and then the fringe since then, which is like comedy and shows and that. But there's just things on all the time, it's just full of youngsters like yeah. ourselves in our mid 20s. Uh, it's just, a, yeah, it's a, it's a really fun place to be. Lots of uh, just nice places to hang out, lovely outdoor squares and stuff. Yeah, great. Who's your favourite comedian? Ever? Yeah. Really enjoy the work of Brendan Burns. Uh, last year I went to Edinburgh Festival, saw Finn Taylor, he was excellent. Yeah. We enjoyed his show. Uh, yeah, you? Lee Evans. Not for me. I love him. Do you? I love him. I love the energy he puts in on stage. He cracks me up. I remember seeing him when I was at school, which came back a long way. At your school? No, not at my school, but oh. playing in, in Kent. Because all my friends were into it. No. No, you're not having him. Living that into it. No. no. All right. He yeah. talks about everyday stuff, which I like. All right. How good's that? Unbelievable. There's Anderson stuff, isn't it? So Pete, just behind us there, we've got the um, opera there. It's a really historic building, great architecture. I'd like to have a little look round, so that maybe we true. can ask the viewers if we could do that. That we, might be good fun. We could do, or we could ask them to go on that. You decide. How the van go, Pete? We're off the opera. <laughs> oh, you Was it? That was awesome. Yeah. It's, you know, you got a little bit bored towards the end. It went on for quite long, but I had a right good laugh. Really enjoyed it. Um, and I think it's about time you do something. The shop behind us, Petit Bateau, is like a French kid's clothing shop. Yeah. And years ago, my friend Jim, he's got a French wife. Uh, he was talking to his wife and, and said, well, she said, oh, what do you want to do? What are you going to do today? And he said, um, and he, got, he replied to her, she said, oh, that's such, so lovely, that's so great that you want to do that for our, our kid, our future child. They're about to have a baby at the time. It's so nice that you're planning on doing that. That's really good. And he goes, what, what do you think I just said? She went, oh, that you're going to go to Petit Bateau. He said, no. He said, I'm going to spend all day playing Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me that you love me too. So tell me that you love me too. No, 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 no. Some food time and Emily and Cheney had requested oysters and Doody Rhino, great YouTuber there, uh, requested snails, so we're going to eat those now. What you do, you have your little holding device and you have to scoop it out. We haven't got the right implements. <laughs> it's not going very well, is it? We haven't got the right, we haven't got a fork. We use the end of the knife. You don't really get a little snail fork, do you? I think I like snails, but I think in reality I just like garlic butter, which is sort of what Feels like it's getting very badly. Are you getting on with that? Oh, not great because I haven't got the right, oh, go. got the right implements. Yeah. Good that. You had snails before, Pete? I've not. No. First time. Let's go. That's top, top class. Wow. Good, isn't it? Mm. That's good. Real good. I think your tactic with the oysters is to loosen the oyster from its enclaves. And then I like to put on some of this oniony, vinegary thing. And then you just eat the oyster. 
out of 10? 10. Yeah? Mm. Absolutely brilliant. Love it. I love oysters. How do I eat it? So, what you want to do, you want to use this fork to loosen it. So get it so it's no longer attached to its base. So just give it a jiggle around. Get under, dig it out a bit. Okay, and then you want to add a bit of this purple thing. Okay, get it down here. That. I prefer snails. It's all right. For a, like as seafood goes, it's not my favourite. Give me a prawn all day long. Right, Pete, your turn to ask the viewers something. What we're going to ask them next? Right. Well, I was thinking on how all the messages we've been getting. Everyone's been saying you've got to drink wine. You've got to drink wine. So obviously, I don't drink wine anymore. I don't drink anything anymore. Uh, so it's only fair that you do but what I want to ask the viewers is is it a glass of wine you know just to get a nice little taste for it or are you gonna go full throttle and have a whole bottle of wine to yourself you choose I'm beginning to think that this day's not going quite the way we planned just eating baguettes and going on carousels and now let's be honest probably have to drink a bottle of wine because you're gonna vote for a bottle aren't you So viewers have picked a bottle, perhaps unsurprisingly. Uh, Pete, what are we going to go for? You, you can choose. Yeah, right. So I wasn't sure to go uh, red or white, so I've gone both. We're going to go for the rosé bottle, Chateau Landre La Vie Une Rose Edipi 2018. Bottle of coming right up. So you've gone for the you gone for the more expensive rosé there, gone local, which is good, we want to try the Bordeaux wines, but we're getting a slightly, pun slightly punchier one there. Yeah, because you're a good friend, so I don't want to give you any sort of tat. So, seven quid difference, I think you'll enjoy it more. The occasion will be better for you. I brought you to a nice little, where there's music as well. So the settings are here for you. You've got the company, and the bottle of wine is on its way. So, uh, bon appétit. It's very nice, this local Bordeaux wine. Might as well fill the glass up, really. Uh, cheers. Nice dark colour to the rosé. It's very nice, which is a good job. Just got quite a lot of it to get through. Cheers, see you on the other side. Hardly any way through. Um, I feel all right actually. How do, how do I seem to you? Do I seem all right? Absolutely fine, yeah. Yeah, I don't feel drunk. No. We'll see how it goes, but early days. Yeah, good man. I mean, I could tell I've had a drink. <laughs> I don't feel terrible. How am I doing? Am I all right? Yeah. I don't feel dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers for this, internet. The eyes. The eyes are going. The eyes are fine. Don't look at the eyes. Thanks. Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton. <laughs> drink up. Final sip. Great effort. 
Yeah. What's it done? I feel alright. I mean, I can tell I've had a drink. I wouldn't drive. I wouldn't operate a combine harvester. Uh, I wouldn't email a client. There's lots of things I wouldn't do. Did you do a video for YouTube? I'd record it. I wouldn't upload it. <laughs> I'd want to see it in the cold light of day, I think. Uh, but yeah, I feel, I feel not too bad. Should we get some food? Are you hungry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ice check, ice check, ice check, ice check. I've been up since three, my eyes are going to be knackered anyway. Uh, what a man. It's the good news though, is that I feel absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> I did notice I couldn't speak properly then when I tried. That's, that's okay, it's not, a big, walking, issue. It's not a big issue. You're walking in diagonal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't, don't worry about that, don't worry about that, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, what are we going to do now, Peter? Um, we're going to get you some food, I think. Yeah, I think some food might be uh, great for the group, for yeah. society. Uh, so we're going to get some food and uh, then go to the airport, probably. Yeah, planes in two hours. Oh. So, what, what a day. What a been, day. Been fantastic. What a great place Bordeaux is, seriously. Yeah. Can't recommend it enough. So, Peter, here we are back at Bordeaux Airport. What are your final thoughts from our adventure in Bordeaux? Fantastic day. Enjoyed it immensely. Great company. Um, just a great place, really. Yeah, had a great day. I've learned that we shouldn't really trust the viewers and definitely shouldn't let them choose what to do. Yeah, I'm uh, still feeling the baguette bit stuff from that. Yeah, it stung that, didn't it? Right. Anyway, thanks for watching. We get a plane home. Yeah. Uh, subscribe to Tubes. Subscribe to me if you're not already. Hit like. Yeah. Get a Bordeaux. Leave a comment. Eat a baguette. Get pleasant. It's pleasant. Not me. Yeah. But, yeah. See ya.